The Disney Destiny is the brand new, most recently announced Disney cruise ship. This is going to be the third ship in the Wish class. We finally got some more information from where it's going to be sailing out of, when will it be starting to sail, and plenty of new information that we are excited for. So make sure though, before we get into it, you do hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and comment down below, have you ever been on a Disney cruise sh line, uh, ship before? And if you have, which one? So the way we're going to end up doing this is we're going to talk about each little section. We're going to start about some basic information on the Destiny, then we're going to talk about the Grand Hall, down to the new villain-themed lounges, all the way down to the rooms as well. Some basic information on the Disney Destiny. The Disney Destiny will be calling Port of Everglades its home port down in Fort Lauderdale. Now this is nice because this is the newest uh, year-round port for the Disney Cruise Line. It's their second year-round port after Cape Canaveral. Um, it will begin sailing in late 2025. I've read somewhere in November. But all I'm saying is right now, late 2025, until we can get the itineraries for it. This ship will only be holding around 2,500 guests on board, um, which is pretty insane because the Wish Clash ships only have about 1,258 different cabins. Uh, and so, if every room is full to capacity, it could be up to 4,000, but on average, it's going to be about 25 to 3,000 people. The Disney Destiny has a hero and villains theme, which will make it a unique among the Wish class and most of any other Disney cruise lines. The Wish series has really gone on the idea of a, the Wish series has really gone on the idea of a theming of all of the different types of cruises they've got. The Wish class was Enchantment, Wish was the Enchantment Treasures, the event, like an all about adventure. So this is gonna be really unique in the fact that this is gonna be heroes versus villains, something that we've never seen with the villains before, and we'll be getting into that. So right now, so that is what you got some basic information on your, now, with any Disney Cruise Line, the first thing you walk into is the Grand Hall or the Atrium, the middle part, the central location within the entire cruise line, like inside the old entire ship. In this area, you do end up having a bronze, mar bronze statue of a character. This is going to be the Black Panther or King T'Challa. From the Black Panther series. And I'm really excited about this. A lot of people said, oh, why couldn't you do Superhero Goofy? I really like this a lot because there is a lot of Marvel stuff they are looking at doing while they're on this ship. So, this Grand Hall Atrium welcomes passengers onto the ship. It'll have pa uh, pillars adorned with metalwork that is designed to look like the armor and stacked jewelry for which is Wakanda is known for. Now, overhead, they will have a colorful lighting effect will spring from a vibranium inspired fixture and a statue of Black Panther Black Panther will stand watch. It's gonna be really cool and I can't wait to see what this actually looks like on the Destiny. It's brand new to the Disney Destiny will be an all new lounge in DeVille's Piano Lounge. This piano lounge will be themed to the red, white, and black and notorious Corella DeVille herself. So you're gonna have a lot of red, a lot of black, and everything else. But not only leaning in only Corella's signature colors and spots, the adult-only lounge will feature a glamorous Hollywood Regency style you might expect from somewhere this villain would visit. And inside the lounge, you can expect a moody tunes from a spotted piano, on-trend cocktails, wine, and martinis. After all, Corella's downfall was, at least in her part, her pursuit of style. So you should expect nothing less in her lounge. So this is super exciting. I i don't know about y'all, but that's actually really cool. And I can't wait to see how this actually turns out. The next lounge is going to be Cask and Cannon, or the Pirates of the Caribbean themed. This is Yo-Ho, Yo-Ho. It's a new Pirates themed watering hole for us. In addition to the usual beverage lineup, the Pirates of the Caribbean themed pub will feature an extensive rum menu. Not surprising. It'll include some rare and vintage rum selections. There will also be some beer options that were developed just for this location and straight it serves straight from a barrel because you wouldn't expect anything else. And so you get something unique to enjoy while you watch sports and more on the pub's TV. So this is the last one is one we have on the Disney Treasure. It's going to be the Haunted Mansion Parlor. In keeping with the shift theme of a dictonity uh, with both lightness and darkness can exist in harmony. We're going to expect a return of the Haunted Mansion Parlor, which will, make, which will materialize again on the Disney Destiny in 2025 after it debuts on the Treasure. 
This lounge, it brings humor, styling of the classic Haunted Mansion attraction at Disney Parks, but does so in settling set, setting of a first-class drawing room from the golden ages of the classic ocean liner. Now, don't be surprised if some classic characters from the Haunted Mansion attraction, along with some new seafaring friends, come out to socialize while you enjoy their parlor and ghoulish beverages. So, Now, moving on to some of the food options, options we're going to first start out with the Incredibles Sweet Shop. The new confection shop to be called Edna a la Mode Sweets will take its theme from the Edna Mode's lab from the animated Pixar Animation Studios to where she creates her superhero outfits. Inspired by Auntie Edna's short films, the lab's modern sewing equipment will be repurposed as a sweet making mechanism meant to entertain Jack Jack, the unpredictable and hilariously unstable super baby. And this venue will serve handmade gelato, ice cream, cookies, candies, and specialty treats that are served among the lab bolts of fabric. Costume models and picture-perfect sculptures of both Edna and Jack-Jack will be in the middle. So you'll be able to get right up and close with Edna and Jack-Jack and take some pictures with them. Moving on to the dinner rotation. So Disney is known for their dinner dining rotations. And they have a brand new theme coming for this one. This is going to be the Pride Lands Feast of the Lion King. The new dining experience planned for the Disney Destiny will take place in a savannah-inspired venue that will bring unique deceptions of animals and nature to life through lighting and special effects. While the window-lined back wall will transform from sunny sunrise to enchanting sunsets throughout the meal. While dining, it will be built as a colorful ensemble of live musicians and storytellers that take stage in the center of the restaurant to present a musical journey through the award-winning The Lion King soundtrack. There'll be some inclu iconic inclu songs from the animated field, such as Starkle Life, Kuna Matana, plus a mashup of I Just Can't Wait to Be Kings and Be Prepared, which will also highlight the hero and villain dynamic of the story. This eatery also will have a themed menu, which is not surprising. So I, that is, this is going to be really cool. World of Marvel does make a return onto the ship, but it's going to be the Mar World of Marvel Groot Remix, um, which will be first rolled out on the Disney Treasure. During dinner, Groot plans a special celebration for his friend Rocket Raccoon. Both of the Guardian Galaxy of the Ga fame expect music, trivia, and rounds out the offering. So this is going to be cool. It's going to be exactly like what is on the Disney. The Disney Wish has the um, different version of this. This is the Groot version that is going to be going on the Treasure because the Treasure is going to have the original Wish version and the Groot version as well. And they are bringing back 1923 to this. So... Just like most ships, the two out of the three dining locations are going to be the same on on all all the same class ships, but you get one different. In fact, this has Lion King themed restaurant. It's going to be right up Kayla's alley. Other new venues were announced, including Cafe Meg. Named after the heroine of the Disney animated movie Hercules will pay homage to the film's world of ancient Greek gods and heroes. And in the other cafe, Merida will be inspired by the flame-haired heroine of Pixar's Brave with a Celtic-centric design that invokes her family Scottish Highland heritage. So not only will you be climbing aboard the Disney Destiny, but some of these Disney villains will be following you right behind with more complicated past. Maleficent, Hades, Cruella de Vil, Captain Hook, Mr. Smee, Oogie Boogie, Captain Jack Sparrow, Bruno, and honestly, Loki, which I love to death, will be joining and they honestly will be probably be roaming, roaming the ship quite freaking, quite frequently. You may be able to get to meet them more and maybe we'll have some villain knights as themed knights for the ship, so that'd be really cool. So not only do the villains make their way onto the Disney Destiny, they do make their way onto the Aqua Mouse storyline. The 760-foot on-deck water ride on the Destiny, just like on the Disney Wish and Treasure. However, this time it'll showcase a fourth new show with the villains from Disney Animation Archives and features soundtrack written just for the Disney Cruise Line. In the new Sing a Silly Song story, Mickey and Minnie will trek to the peak of Villain Mountain where you'll encounter notorious favorites such as the Queen of Hearts, Scar, and the biggest and baddest of them all, Chernabog. Very th big thing is all of the cabins. These are going to be hero-worthy cabins and suites. Every accommodation on the ship will feature artwork depicting epic journeys of famous Disney legends, a new theme. 
As all the Disney cruise ships, the rooms will be family focused with most offerings Disney's signature split bathroom concept. Many of which feature the connecting doors allow for the creation of a bigger accommodation. So if you have two rooms, you can make your room into one giant room to give you more space. Fantasia. Among the accommodation choice will be a concierge classroom with Fantasia watercolor style artwork. The rooms will come with the access to exclusive areas, amenities, including a concierge lounge and a private sun deck. If you don't know, concierge is the more expensive option. You get the board pretty much whatever you want. You have lounges where you can go get food, you know, drinks, bottle drinks, canned drinks, any of that stuff. And that's what these this the Concierge suites will be all Fantasia themed. You then will also have the Incredibles. In addition, seven special ocean view rooms directly above the bridge with stellar views from floor to ceiling will feature the Incredible themes. There will also be an incredible suite that pays homage to the Incredibles with a streamlined mid-century modern aesthetic going to be Hercules. Other notable accommodations will include four hero suites that celebrate the heroes of Hercules with design inspired by Greco-Roman architecture, colors, and patterns. And so there's, this really does have a unique style to be able to look at and see everything. Front, forward, um, like stack. Um, as you know on the Disney Cruise Line, the only the rear stack is, is the only one that actually like has all the exhaust coming out from the engines. The front forward one is usually the um, tower suite. And this one is going to be all fa all focused around Iron Man and the more mo style he has where you have some, some of the uh, aesthetic he would, the very clean cut, the machinery cut things, and might be some hidden gems in there from Iron Man himself. So the character on the bow, as we all know, Disney Cruise Line is all big on who's on the bow of the ship. And it's usually a big thing to note who it is. And this go around, this is the first time that they're going away from one of the Disney characters. And they are going to be going with a Marvel character in Spider-Man and three of his little spider bots. What I love about this is on the very bow of it, they have three of the spider bots running around. One is painting the name Disney Destiny. One of them has a snorkel on. And then the other one has an inner tube and some sunglasses. Because all they want to do is relax just like the rest of us. So... So many new things coming out for the Disney Destiny. So much coming. I'm so excited to see more and see what happens and just overall see where this ends up going. So if you guys are really excited about the Disney Destiny, let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you want to see more of our Disney adventures, including some of our cruise line adventures, make sure you do check out the video right here or the playlist right here. There's almost 200 videos, including probably close to 15 to 20 videos of just our cruise line adventures. And if you haven't done so, make sure you do subscribe to the channel right here. But with all that being said, as I do head on out from this Disney Destiny update video and reveal of everything, I will see y'all next time.